Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmin Gold, and recently I've gotten a lot of messages, tweets, and feedback from you guys asking me to evaluate a certain farming spot in Stone Talon Mountains. The claim is that you can make 120,000 gold per hour in looted item value. So we're going to talk about what that term is supposed to mean after we of course address the validity of this 120,000 gold per hour claim. Now I of course did this myself, and you'll see that in the video, and my results were of course much different, aka much lower than what was advertised. Now let's go ahead and let's just ask ourselves a question. Um, well, let's first uh, let's put it into perspective and then ask the question. So you've got 120,000 gold per hour. That means if you did this for the entire day, you could make over a million gold. So let's just ask the question. I mean, like, really, let's ask the question. What do you think the chances are that you can make over a million, you can hit the gold cap, hit the gold cap in one day, or at least get all the items to do that, uh, in one day by killing level 30 torrents, selling the greens they drop on the auction house for transmog? It's not even 1%, it's zero. Anybody that's naive enough to think this is has absolutely, has absolutely no idea about supply and demand or anything like that. Like, a anybody can do this. How is something that anybody can do somehow going to make 120,000 gold per hour? It's, it's just complete bullshit. And I see these videos all the time, and I see them more and more and more. Now, this looted item value thing, we're going to talk about that right now. Now, you if you see looted item value, this is a really good way to tell uh, if the video you're watching is uh, legitimate or not. If you see looted item value, it's probably not. It's very simple. Uh, the, the way that they get this uh, uh, this this like term here is from TSM. It's called Trade Skill Master, which is an add-on that you use to scan the auction house and sell certain items. And uh, each item is valued differently. Now, uh, I went and I watched another video, uh, maybe one of the people that was talking about this spot, and the same person was able to get uh, was able to uh, advertise a twenty-five thousand to thirty-five thousand gold an hour farming uh, Bastion of Twilight. Uh, you know that like entry level area that I. That I did like three, uh, two years ago, and uh, I said that even then, back whenever like nobody else could do it, you could barely make five thousand gold. Well, somehow now with this add-on, you can make a uh, twenty-five thousand to thirty-five thousand gold per hour. And do you think that the add-on is somehow making you, uh, you know, make more money? No, of course not. That would be ridiculous. Uh, this, it's the entire idea with it is that the the diluted item value what it really means in a way is that uh, basically if your items don't sell it's still okay because they have this value and that's obviously in inherently ridiculous because if everybody is doing this let's say this uh, this stone talon mountains farming spot and we're not really i'm not going to link the video i'm not going to really talk about the person that did it i mean like he is i mean i i'm not really into a whole lot of that i think i think honestly it would be kind of in poor taste and so um i'm just going to talk about it in really a third person so uh this spot here uh you know what what do you really think as i said before what do you really think the odds are that you're going to be able to make over a hundred thousand gold an hour killing level 30 torrents and selling the gear for transmog and also at the same time whenever somebody makes a video about this and everybody sees the video or a lot of people see the video like how many people do you think that it would take to saturate this market it probably wouldn't even take one person like one person that just did this for hours on end would would probably would take them six months to a year if not more if not ever to even ever sell the items at all, less, uh, you know, actually sell them at the value that this uh, that this add-on is giving them. Now, I went and I looked at some of the uh, the items that were that were uh, looted in this video, and I looked at what the uh, appraisal rate was for these items. Now, um, one of the items, sorry, um, one of the items was selling for about eleven thousand gold on this add-on, and I looked on my auction house, and it was selling for two hundred. Um, so that's uh, almost well, that's obviously like less than ten percent of what's being advertised, and it's not like it was just some idiot that didn't know what he had, and you know you can buy it up and resell it for eleven thousand. No, there was like fifteen of them on there. Like, there's no way that you're going to be able to make this much money. And uh, you know, usually uh, I think that these are like two very uh, like these things are, are mutually exclusive. Uh, is it things that everybody can do, and that things that are extremely profitable? Because if everybody can do it, and it's easy to do, then everybody can do it, and the value is going to go. Down down to basically uh, like almost everything in the game that's very easy to do will net you about 1,000 to 2,000 gold and really to break above that you have to do something that either most people haven't really thought of or you know look at a market that's not really explored a lot or there's a lot of other ways but uh, 
basically anybody can farm uh, Torin, level 30 Torin and Stone Talon Mountains. It's not really very hard. Any, Literally anybody, well, I guess anybody that's above like level 50 can probably do it efficiently. And so uh, these kinds of things, they uh, really annoy me because uh, I see videos like this and they get a lot of attention. And you see like people trying to come out with these like uh, these like weasel words, lose the, uh, you know, uh, what was it? It was called looted item value. I forgot even what it was. Looted item value and like these like rationalizations for making these ridiculous claims. And I, I can give you guys a, a bit of like really good uh, life advice here is that whenever the result of somebody being uh, ignorant or lazy or careless or something like that is also going to benefit them, it simultaneously benefits them, uh, you can almost bet that the uh, that ignorance or that laziness or that carelessness was, uh, was intentional. And so uh, whenever you see something like this, anybody that's going to watch the video is going to expect that they can make 120,000 gold per hour. Now what's really not calculated into this is how much time it takes to actually sell these items, which I've tried to sell a lot of transmog items, and that's why I honestly don't make videos about transmog stuff anymore, because the shit doesn't sell. Like, after you have the salvage yard, salvage yard has injected so much, uh, you know, all these items into the game, um that actually farming the items yourself, uh, it's it's very, uh, it's, it's not very profitable at all. And also, um, you know, like my channel, like it's got like over like 80,000 subscribers and a lot of like, whenever I put out a video, a lot of people watch the video. And whenever that happens, of course, people see that and they go in the game and they do it. And so I've really kind of relegated my gold farming guides to things that are, you know, like basic, like crafting materials, like sumptuous fur and just flat gold, like the old raids thing that I showed you guys at the beginning of the expansion. Because if I put something out uh, like this out there, the same as like any of these videos that could it's really popular, uh, then everybody's going to do it and it's no longer going to be able to give you that much money. So even if it was somehow making this person 120,000 gold per hour, which it, it wasn't, but um, hypothetically if it was, um, you know, now that everybody else has seen this video, it's not going to be making it that much more, uh, making it anymore. And so I see this stuff a lot with like other videos and like other gold guides and everything like that. And I, and it's very disingenuous. And as I said before, it is intentionally disingenuous because what are you really going to put on the title? I mean, like if, if you, if you go to search, like how much, like the best way to make gold in World of Warcraft, people don't search for a way, they search for the best way. And so if you see something that says make 3000 gold, make 5000 gold, make 10,000 gold, make 120,000 gold guess what people are going to click on and so this is like this is like the world of warcraft version of you know woman loses 50 pounds in three weeks doctors hate her or something like that it's just ridiculous clickbait bullshit that i mean if you see it man like you've got to call it out because this is uh it's really kind of ridiculous and also uh, you know, it, it kind of, it, it, it's, it's kind of like insulting everybody's intelligence by putting these things out there and expecting that people are going to believe them. And so if you see this term looted item value, take anything that's said in that video with a big, big grain of salt and a lot of them too. So I wanted to make a video and tell you guys pretty much what's going on with this and what really to watch out for. I made a video talking about uh, basically, I think it was called looking at YouTube gold farming spots realistically. This is like, I don't know, part two. And I've been thinking about like doing videos and like analyzing some of these farming spots and really looking at them realistically. Whenever I make a video about a uh, about a gold farming spot, I try to be as realistic as possible. And I hope that I don't, I don't really fall too short of that. Uh, but uh, if I do, I usually actually have tried to go back and change some of the titles so they aren't misleading uh, like these videos clearly are and they're intentionally misleading and so don't ever forget that uh, I wanted to make a video as I said make sure that you guys know about this make sure that you're aware of it and make sure that you're not tricked and your time isn't wasted by somebody who's just trying to manipulate you for views so anyway guys that's pretty much all I've got thanks for watching and like comment subscribe